Yeah, because I would why. give you six months to actually sit home and just I can't sit, sit home. home. I what? can't even see a mom yeah. sitting home. Yeah, no. Come have a cup of tea in the morning, maybe work in the yard a little bit, and then be like, man, I wonder if I walk to that tax agent building. <laughs> Well, they let me in. She said so she, yeah, she said it. She was, yeah, now people are going to put two and two together. Uh, yeah, you just said it. You, you just let it out. Uh, but it's, <laughs> like, what? You're going to let it out. You know, we did good. Three years? I know, right? Yeah. Okay, but, you know, it's, um, and that's the thing, planning for the second life. It's like, I don't, you know, I looked at the numbers and I'm like, okay, I will definitely not have to work. Yeah. at all that is excellent so and then i'm like i even had the nerve to look at social security i'm like okay well that's like uh what 62 i think the thing says 62 but i went on the website and i saw how much i get and everything and i'm like you know what i have plenty of money to you know to get there mm -hmm. and beyond so i'm not worried about i'm in a good place right that's the, excellent the whole thing is you know what will i do besides writing because with writing you know i know with me i have to have that creative but you know with writing. writing you can start traveling places well yeah and well, do and like you know goals. when you you want to um go and you maybe need some time to relax and yes. think about your next book mm -hmm. you can be in an island somewhere you could do that so would help. so yeah, you could be relaxing and then you can incorporate that that stuff into your book like mm -hmm. how you know your zen when you're in your zen, mm -hmm. you know and yeah. just do things like that so you got a lot of that sounds lovely. opportunities and, mm -hmm. yeah a lot of opportunities yeah i thought about that too because that's one of the things that i said i wanted to do was to travel and write and um i'm getting out of that issue that i had where i didn't want to travel by myself mm. see that was another hold up but since i went to new york by myself and got lost in new york by myself <laughs> it's like okay i i can do this right. you know that was a big achievement for me Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like, I just did it all by myself. And not once did my son check in on me, but it's okay. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's okay. I you survived. I survived. Okay. Okay, so I digress. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we're going to continue on because we do have a guest today. We do have um, Albury L. No, Ill. 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 Yes. The illest. The illest. <laughs> And he is with More Ways Than One Entertainment LLC. Mm, so I'm, nice. I'm, I am really looking forward to hearing from him. But first, we're going to go with Marzina Sample. She's going to inspire us for today. <clears throat> yes. Hello, everyone. So the title of what I've written today, The Perfect Self-Help Book. Mm. So I don't know about you guys, but when I'm trying to master a new plan, or if I'm trying to lose weight, or how do I invest money? What do I do first? I run to the library, I go to Barnes and Nobles, or even get on Google and type some things in. Mm -hmm. So as you all know, there are several thousands of self-help books available today. So from emotional healing, investment books, to losing weight books, okay? Now, I've looked at a lot of these books and it was one book in particular, I think a weight loss book, probably. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, who wrote this? Let me look into the author of this book. Well, she was thin. She's been yep. thin. Like, like 10 yeah, pounds. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm sorry. You're in a different place than I am. So how is this? What worked for you going to work for me when mm -hmm. it, we're on two totally different levels here? Then I remembered back from statistic classes. Mm -hmm who did the monitoring who was the study group mm. okay because mm -hmm. most of the time yeah. it, it, so again you cannot rely on most of these books because you don't know who their focus group was. exactly so at that point i looked a little further how did they come up with the results which we just stated mm -hmm. well it's so many of us each day that rely on faulty information, mm -hmm. even on the internet. I mean, it's, it's a lot of stuff is just lies and you have to look really far to get to the truth. Now, there is a book that tells us how to invest our lives for maximum profit. That book has proven to be reliable and life-changing. 
This book is useful to everyone right where you are at that point. What is it called again? The Bible. Ah! <laughs> Yes, the Bible, the Bible guys. Yes. The, Bible the Bible tells me so. <laughs> it applies to all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? It doesn't matter where you are in life. The Bible is where it's at for all of us. And for some it's called the Quran, some it's called exactly. the Torah. But exactly. you know, it's the Bible. Bible. Exactly. We need to rely more on the Bible. Mhm. Mm and actually install more prayer, which I'm always working on. I pray everything. To get every the day. answers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. To get the answers I need mm -hmm. instead of relying on faulty books, yeah. right. false books, and all these other things in the news. Right. When I already have the information I need. Yeah. So to me, that is the perfect self-help book. That's the excellent. Bible. That is Rely so on it more, everyone. That's a, yeah, yeah. That, that's good. Especially uh, Romans. Mm. Y'all better read, um, ex what is it, Exodus? Uh, oh no, you talking about revelations? Uh, <laughs> you know, that's why I look you know. for it. I was like, I'm not gonna look at them because I'm naming the wrong see, book. See, I was like, I'm not. And I, and mom, I'm sorry. I know you taught me the Bible, but today my mind went blank. And forgive me, audience, my mind is blank. Oh my but I'm gonna okay. get it together. I'm gonna get it together by yes. the end of the show. Yes. I knew Exodus, Genesis, one of them, it was gonna fall in line. Right, exactly. Any I mean, book. They're all important. Yeah, yeah. they're all important. Yeah, what? <laughs> I'm about to start David. <laughs> Matthew, Mark, Luke, oh, John. <laughs> no, oh my gosh! Romans, so Romans is good and very yeah. interesting. That's, that, that's all I wanted to say today. Yeah. It was funny. Marlon thought I had said the name of the book. Yeah, the perfect self help book. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> you didn't see me pick up my pen. I was going to write that. Yeah. One. <laughs> And I just brought a new Bible too. Really? Mind, this was one that you better not take that to church. People will know you don't read this. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know, you, you know, know what that's no, true. When you when that. you yeah. walk into church, they know the newcomers. Mm. Cause your Bible be all crisp. You be laying it out. You be you be trying to smooth out the pages and be trying to right right those old. Boom, you be like yep. what the all thing? highlighted yeah. asterisks. And, and then yeah. they be like and they be like no pastor. It's on page. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, but the newcomers be like. Excuse me. <laughs> now they got a big teleboard in the front to oh, tell yeah. you Romans yep, 6 and yep. 12. Exactly. And you still be like, so I'm the one of the new ones that my Bible need to be cracked. And yeah. I'll be like, <laughs> yeah, I took my new one today. And it's like some of the pages was like, yeah. you know, because it's paper thin. Uh -huh. I mean, not just paper thin, but it's very thin. I'm like, oh, this is my 